So to answer this question, I first need to define NORM. NORM is the acronym for Naturally Occurring Radioactive Material. And so, although everything technically is radioactive, we don't give it this classification until it hits a certain level. And it's going to depend on the state. Most states are the ones that regulate it as opposed to the NRC. But it really is just when you get an extra high concentration of naturally occurring radioactive material. Examples would be uranium mill mining uh, uh, tails. The tails are going to be more concentrated than normal dirt. And the reason why you're not so much concerned necessarily with the gamma dose rate, you're more going to be concerned with the radon. The radon has the ability to accumulate, for example, in the mine itself. We know that early on, when uranium miners were doing the mining, the radon levels would build up in the mine, and they got increased levels of cancer risk. And so unless you're doing ventilation of the mine, you're, you're going to see that kind of behavior. So in other words, it makes sense to control it to prevent that from happening so that nobody takes those uranium mine tailings and puts it in their basement where you can get radon accumulation. And if it accumulates to levels that long durations of exposure become a hazard, you want to prevent that. There are other forms of norm. It can be what we call scale from my, uh, uh, oil mining, uh, oil drilling. The material that comes up uh, on those drill bits can be concentrated in radium and its decay products. Uh, there are other forms, but generally that's what it is. Uh, the answer to the question is it's generally going to be higher than a banana. A banana is simply concentrated in potassium. Uh, similarly to an avocado, it's got a concentration of potassium, potassium being naturally radioactive. So as a general rule, norm is going to be substantially higher than a banana. Um, I hope that answers the question. Uh, let me know if not, and uh, thanks for asking. Thanks for watching. Bye.